guys, all right, I have a new video for you today. Um, I'm going to be demonstrating uh, mirroring on the iPhone 4S with the Apple TV second generation. Uh, we're just going to run through some simple uh, demonstrations like games or uh, anything that involves entertainment or, you know, any application really that I think is, is cool on a bigger screen. So uh, we're going to start out obviously with a racing game. So I'm going to play Zombie Highway um, and I'll give you a quick demonstration of this. And as you can see as I rotate it does uh, change with me. So that's that's a pretty cool feature. Um, if you notice it isn't quite the uh, the widescreen that it should be. Um, I know you can see that but anyway so it's not as wide as it could be but it's okay. So we're gonna go ahead and start this. Classic. That's fine. Um, and this does have actual uh, sound, which we're going to use here. This turn on. Okay. So now, as you can see, it's. I mean, it's basically like having a uh, a controller in your hand. So, I mean, that's it's pretty responsive. And as you can see there, it crashed obviously, but so that's that's what happens. You can also control the volume uh, on by using your your phone buttons right here. Uh, that's a pretty cool feature. Um, so let's go ahead and check out another game uh, that I really enjoy, which is Angry Birds uh, Seasons. I was actually playing this earlier, so you can see here. Um, turn this volume down, but I mean, you get the point, guys. You can have uh, audio on this, which is pretty cool. So as you can see, uh, basically any game can be displayed on here, and it's actually quite, uh, quite well with the graphics. Um, probably actually gonna beat this level here. Oh, and I jinxed myself, but yeah. So I mean, like operating through anything is uh, the same. There's no lag really. Um, let's check out Koi Pond, which you guys can see the difference between the graphics and whatnot. I'm not sure if it rotates. I don't believe it does. Um, but as you can see, it actually looks almost better on the bigger screen. Um, so you can see there isn't really much lag. I mean, the second I stop moving it, it stops, so I mean that's that's pretty cool. Um, but I mean even the audio quality is well, uh, and it all streams wirelessly through Wi-Fi. Um, if you guys don't know how to do this, uh, you can just check out the link below. Uh, that's my other video that shows you how to set it up on the iPhone 4S. It's the same exact thing for the iPad too, uh, but you do need the iPhone 4S for this. Anyway guys, uh, let's check out Warp Dash. It's actually a really, uh, really graphic intensive game. Um, I'm not sure if you guys have heard of it, um, but it's it's pretty cool. Now it crash. As you can see here, it's actually quite a tricky game, but uh. Go ahead and restart this and actually try. I'm gonna go ahead and crash here for you guys just to show you what it looks like. Uh, that's pretty. That's pretty good for a uh, for an iPhone on a big screen. Um, and another game we can play here and check out uh, is Fruit Ninja. Um, I'm not actually sure how well this is because I haven't actually mirrored this yet, so you guys get to see it for the first time just like I do. Um, so. Hey. 
Yeah, that's pretty good actually. Um, so as you guys can see, it's, it's pretty responsive. I mean, anything I draw here is going to be on there. Um, so like you can see the lines there. I'm just doing this for demonstration, but... I mean, it's the exact same... At the exact same moment, it's on both screens, which is pretty cool. Um, there's no delay whatsoever, I've noticed. Um, so, that's games, guys. Guys, besides games, uh, you can go uh, into... YouTube and watch any video uh, that you might uh, you might want to see. So obviously here's one of my videos, how to mirror the iPhone 4S on the Apple TV. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Um, all you have to do is click it, just like you normally would, and it, instead of displaying on here, it will be displayed on there. Um, so you can also flip it this way, and you can change the scrobbling and uh, move the. Uh, the bar for Alright guys, uh, today I have a video for you uh, about the iPhone 4S and mirroring on the Apple TV second generation. Um, I have my Apple TV here hooked up to... You can also fast forward as you can see here just by using your finger on the iPhone uh, and it jumps um, right to it. You can also pause, uh, skip back and make it play on the, uh, the iPhone screen instead if you wanted to, um, which is a pretty cool feature. Um, so that's YouTube guys. Alright guys, another cool feature is Safari. So I'm gonna go ahead and load up uh Google. Um Okay, so now Google's here. Uh you can basically search anything, do anything you want. So let's check out what's going on on uh Call of Duty Modern Warfare site. So As you can see here, everything loads up perfectly. If you go into landscape mode, you can see everything just as well, um, which is even better. You can scroll through, you can zoom in. Oh, well, no, it's not going to let me... It's not going to let me scroll in here, but um, you get the point, guys. Uh, it's, it's pretty cool. Uh, you can navigate through anything, uh, any website, basically, that doesn't have Flash. Um, and if you want it like this, you can play the video. By tapping on it, it'll load up uh, through the mobile version of YouTube. If you can see there, and it'll stream right to your TV. Um, so it's it's pretty it's pretty cool, guys. At six twenty-two, attacks were triggered across Europe. Targets were key military and intelligence organizations. All right, guys, can't wait for that game, but I don't want to get too involved in that because. There's no point, but anyway, guys. Um, so let's let's check out some other things that like uh, are commonly used, such as like USA Today. This is pretty cool, actually, when you do this because now your news is on the uh, the the big screen. So you can click it and say there's a video like this. Uh, there was an earthquake uh, in, in Turkey today, so uh, you can click the video and uh, it plays on both during the USA Today app. You can also control the volume. As you can see, there is no lag. Um, it's it's pretty clear. So that's the that's like USA Today. Um, also, if you want to check out Twitter, same exact thing. Uh, there's landscape mode as well. Which is which is decent. Um, scrolling through Twitter just just like normal. Um, so yeah, guys, that's that's basically what you can do with apps. Now the music side of this is pretty convenient um, because when you play music, uh, okay, so you want to play a song, you can just press play and it'll play through. You can see the little tiny symbol right here, the AirPlay symbol. So if you click that you want to stream it to the iPhone or Gary's room depending on whatever you know Gary's room is obviously my Apple TV if you guys are wondering um, so that's that uh, you can also control the volume and uh, you can turn it this way and 
and scroll through your your albums if you so choose. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, you can also see your notifications, uh, same as you know, just on the phone. Uh, texting on this is pretty pretty cool too, especially in landscape mode. I'm not going to go into that. Um, but another really weird feature that you can do is this. Um, yeah, you can videotape and take pictures. This way you can also do the front facing camera. As you can see, there's me. <laughs> so that's, that's a pretty cool feature. Um, and if you do landscape mode, it's obviously bigger. And, uh, yeah. So that's mirroring, guys. Um, there isn't much more to add to this. Uh, the only thing, the only problem I notice is when you're on a phone call, the, uh, the screen does go blank on the, uh, the TV, but you will be able to still receive and make calls. Um, but the screen will turn off on your television if you're in a call. Um, but anything else, guys, is just amazing on it. Uh, you must have Wi-Fi. Uh, and it should be quite uh, quite speedy Wi-Fi if you if you're trying to mirror, especially with games and whatnot. Uh, but other than that, guys, really there's no problems with this mirroring. Uh, Apple's done a very good job involving the A5 processor chip, uh, which allows you to do this, obviously. Um, so yeah, guys, that's uh, that's the iPhone 4S mirroring on the Apple Television second generation. Thanks for watching.